still a week and a half away from Juneteenth, but girls and young women here in Austin are kicking off the celebration early this weekend. It's a celebration at the end of slavery, Juneteenth. It became uh, federal law in 1863, but the news did not reach Texas until June 19th in 1865, two and a half years later. Now, the state celebrated the first state-sponsored Juneteenth in 1980 after a Houston lawmaker led the effort to make it a state holiday. And tomorrow, a group of young women are competing to be crowned Miss Juneteenth. And this is not your typical beauty pageant. Chris Davis sat in on one of the final rehearsals this week and joins us live from East Austin with a closer look. Good morning. Well, good morning, Sally. Those rehearsals and the pageant itself, those are happening at the King Seabrook Chapel here on the Houston Tillotson University campus. And yeah, as you said, this is not like any pageant that you've ever seen. You don't have to have any experience. You don't have to have any training. We just need you to come and just be you. Ask any kid. That can be the hardest thing to be. Hang on. Pageant director okay. Tanisha Barnett knows that. So make sure when you come from your spot, you're coming right here. Her first experience with the pageant was in the spotlight, not behind it. I am Miss Juneteenth 2007, so this was an organization that I got my start with. She came away more confident and inspired to serve others. And it's like a beautiful thing to watch, you know, these young people be involved with the community. And I'm 2017 Miss Juneteenth. Each girl comes up with a platform. The year they spend as queen is a year dedicated to fulfilling the goal they set. And I want to use this title to actually talk to a lot of people that will listen. Jaron Bradley is going big with hers. So I feel like I would use that to speak on things that are difficult, especially in this generation with school shootings and bombs and not feeling safe in your own skin. We speak life into them. We try to empower them as much as, that we, as, much as we can. And it works. Barnett's platform was to help at-risk kids. She joined a youth advisory committee as a teenager, and now she runs a mentorship club. We are creating powerful women, phenomenal women of our futures. Now this pageant uh, includes a number of different elements to it, including things like uh, a questionnaire, a talent portion, and a one-on-one -on -one interview with the judges, kind of like a job interview. There are three different groups, age groups of girls competing, the young girls, the junior pageant, and then the full-on uh, Miss Juneteenth pageant where they're going to crown uh, the queen. That's for the older teenagers. The pageant is happening here at Houston Tillotson tomorrow evening. We've got a link where you can buy tickets on our website. We're live in East Austin. Chris Davis, KXAN News.